Well, Minister, you're correct, and I wasn't going to go anywhere near the meeting we had a couple of weeks ago because it wasn't a positive meeting. What the communities asked you for and what NAN asked you for very specifically is we're responsible for almost 50 percent of the funding of NAPS policing uh, in northeastern, northwestern Ontario. They asked you to put up your share of what's needed in order for those municipalities, those, uh, I should say, reserves, to meet the basic standard. That's all they wanted you to do so they can, level the, they can level, lever the money from the federal government. You refused. I come back to my initial point. There are people phoning police stations at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning in communities across NAN territory who cannot get a police officer to come in their house in a case of a domestic dispute or in a case of any other crime. And why should that be allowed when certainly it would not be allowed to happen anywhere else in the province of Ontario? Well, speaker, um, in our presentation to the federal ministers, we asked for additional revenues be placed by the federal government into uh, the First Nations Policing Partnership. We understand, as does the member across the way, that the split is 52-48. 52 on part of the federal government, 48 percent on part of the provincial government. We have committed, recommitted, and acted in good faith. We will always live up to our 48 percent commitment to First Nations Policing Partnership. We ask the federal government to increase their share. It is their program. It's a tri-partnership between First Nations, the provincial government, and the federal government. If the federal government increases their share, Automatically, Ontario will inter increase their our share because the split is 52% to 48%. Thanks, Speaker.